Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Note Worthy Life, and this video is a quick OneNote tutorial on using Lasso Select. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, and if you're using a different version or device, your screen may look a little bit different than mine. Lasso Select is also available in OneNote 2016 and on Android devices, Android tablets, and on iPads. So let's talk about what is Lasso Select. Well, Lasso Select allows you to draw an outline or lasso around several elements on your page and essentially create one object out of them. Once the objects are lassoed together, you can act on them as if they were one item. So for example, you could do things like cut, drag, copy, etc. You can also lasso together different types of elements on uh, in a single lasso. So you could outline, lasso together a text box, an image, a table, etc. So I'm going to give you a couple of demonstrations of how Lasso Select works. So this page has four different elements on it. This is a PNG or digital sticker up here. This is a bulleted list. This is a text box. So this is just a basic, uh, you know, te text container. Um, and then this is uh, a table. The Lasso command is under the Draw menu. So I'm going to click on Draw, and then it's this command here that looks like an outline with a plus sign. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to draw my outline around all four of these elements on my page. And you can see by this dotted line around it that all four of these are now all sort of grouped together as one. So I'm going to show you how you can drag these around. I'm going to drag them down to this corner. I can drag them up and then drag them kind of almost back into place. Uh, you do have the option to resize. I think it works a little um, unpredictably though, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this corner handle down here and drag it outward. And you can see that the items are getting further apart and the PNG file is getting bigger, but the table stays about the same size. So I'm going to undo that. Um, so yeah, it's an option. I just don't love the way it works. This page is an exact copy of the page we just looked at, and I'm going to use this to show you a couple of other things about Lasso Select. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to the Draw menu and use the Lasso Select button. And I'm going to draw an outline around my objects again. Oops. I missed the Lasso Select button there. And I'm going to miss a couple of corners here and stuff, just so that you can see that this does not have to be perfect. So even though I missed a corner of the table and I missed a corner of the text container, it still picked up the entire thing. So one of the things you can do is to um, copy this. So I'm going to right click. I'm inside my lasso. I'm going to right click, copy. And I'm going to go to this other page, and I'm going to right-click and paste. And we get an exact copy of those four elements. So you could certainly do this by copying each of those four by themselves, but by copying them all together, it maintains the same uh, placement of the items with respect to each other. And in this case, these are the only things on my page. So I could have just done a page copy, but you might have a situation where you've got other things on the page that you don't want to copy, and that's when you could use Lasso Select. So uh, that's how you use Lasso Select in OneNote. It comes in handy when you have elements on a page that you like and want to keep but are just in the wrong place. Um, you can drag them around all together, keeping them in the same position relative to each other by using Lasso Select. If you've started a page and realize you need more room at the top, you can just move your lassoed items down on the page. And then Lasso Select also allows you to copy or cut certain elements from your page and put them on another page. This is different than using Page Copy, which would copy the entire page. Um, Lasso Select allows you to just cut or copy certain elements from the page. So if you have any questions or comments about this video or something that you'd like me to cover, uh, drop me a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. If you want to see more OneNote tutorials like this, as well as videos on goal setting, productivity, and life management, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and let me know you like this by hitting the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.